God bless you this beautiful, wonderful, precious, glorious day that the Lord has made. Of course, this is Sammy D sitting in the comfort of my Sam Mobile to bring you a message from God to encourage you, to bless you, and to keep you in the presence of God as a victorious, productive Christian person. I'm going to speak in English, not too much in Spanish, because I want to do this video and I don't have much time. Pero Dios le bendiga todo, grande, poderosamente. El Señor es bueno, maravilloso, poderoso, glorioso. Y Él es todo lo que uno necesita. Dios te bendiga en este día. Espero que tú estés bien, que la gloria de Dios, el poder de Dios, el Espíritu Santo, esté sobre ti. Ti en este precioso, glorioso día que ha hecho el Señor. El hermano Samuel Dueño, el hijo de Petrín Dávila, con ustedes aquí para traer un corto pensamiento. Lo voy a hacer en inglés porque no hay mucho tiempo y quiero sacar o traer el mensaje. Me siento más cómodo en inglés, aunque estoy eh, puliéndome y sueltándome y fluyendo en el español. Yo soy nacido y criado aquí, solo que se le dice un New York Rican. Estoy en este país, eh, aquí aprendí todo, pero gracias a mi abuelita que me decía, aquí no se habla inglés, aquí se habla español. Y yo hablaba español ahí todo tirado, pero ella me corregía y me enseñaba y con el tiempo fui creciendo y aprendiendo y estoy ahora leyendo, que no leía antes, ahora estoy leyendo. Pero le quiero dar gloria a Dios y quiero bendecirte a ti. I want to give glory to God. I, just, I said the same thing in Spanish that I said in English, greeting you. And I want to bring you a message. I'm going to play my shofar one time. This is my little shofar here. I'm going to play it. Uh, it's a, it's a, it, it will be a sound. Uh, the Hebrews played it for several reasons. Um, one, of course, was when there was war, they would call people out for warfare, and God would tell them, send the Judah first. Judah were the praises. The word Judah meant praise. Send the praises, the singers, the ones that play the shofar. And when they went out playing the shofar and praising, the enemies heard them and said, what a mighty army is coming against us. And they ran for cover. That was one reason. The other reason, of course, was to come out and celebrate. Come out and let's have a celebration. The Hebrews had a lot of celebrations and ceremonies, and they would play the shofar to invite the people out. Of course, the third reason, and it's probably more, is the repentance. When the, when the people were in sin, they would call out a sound to repent. The Levi will call out a sound for repentance. And so I like to call all of them out. Warfare. We're in spiritual warfare. Celebration. We celebrate Jesus every day. And repentance We have to learn to live in repentance and we thank God for repentance. Rápidamente, los hebreos tocaban el sofá eh, ciertas razones. Una, porque había guerra y cuando Dios mandaba al pueblo de Judea, de, eh, de los levitas que fueran primero a, a guerrear, ellos tocaban el sofá y gritaban y alababan a Dios y el ejército de sus enemigos huían, que pensaba, pensaba que había un gran ejército. So, esa es una de las razones. La otra razón era celebración. Estaban celebrando. Espérate un momentito. Pues, just a minute. God bless you, brother. Bless you. Have a good day. Aquí estoy haciendo un video aquí a la gente. Saludos. Come on, get your face in here. Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, ¿cómo están? Vayan con Dios. Good. Este hombre trabaja en Social Security. Security man. Un hombre de alegría. And so, y, y también cuando había arrepentimiento, se si había pecado en el pueblo, pues ellos tocaban para arrepentirse. Yo lo voy a tocar para todo. Guerra espiritual, tenemos que estar preparados y listos y siempre en el punto para la guerra espiritual. And we also have to have uh, a repentance. Hay que tener arrepentimiento, un corazón arrepentido. Y naturalmente celebrar a Cristo todos los días. Mm, 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 mm.
oportunidad y es real celebrar arrepentido. Quiero leer este verso de la Biblia. I'm going to read this text. I love speaking in Spanish for some reason. Lately, I've been speaking more in Spanish than English. Uh, maybe God is uh, preparing me to go to the Spanish nations or to talk to more Spanish churches. But hey, I want to read this verse to you. It's found in John, the Gospel of John chapter 1. Gospel of John chapter 1. Now, you know John was called the beloved. He was close to Jesus. And he wrote the epistles one, two, and three about love. He said, God is love. So he spoke about love. And then in the book of Revelation that he wrote, he's also known as John the Revelator. John the Revelator. El que escribió el libro de Revelación, Apocalipsis, y hablaba mucho sobre amor. So es conocido como el discípulo apóstol de amor. He's known as the apostle of love. I want to read this to you. The Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 12. I want you to listen closely. I want to get some meat. Let's go into deep. Quiero sacar carne, el provecho, todo lo que se pueda sacar en este verso para compartirlo con usted. Mira lo que dice. He said, but to all, or as many, the King James would say, but as many as received him, who believed in his name. To those he gave power or the privilege or the right to become children of God. Read it again. But as many as received them, to them he gave power, privilege or the right to those that believed in his name to become children of God. Let me read it in Spanish. Mas a todos los que le recibieron, a los que creen en su nombre, les dio potencia de ser hijos o hecho hijos de Dios. Mas a todos los que le recibieron, le entregó potencia. Now, I want to talk to you for a few minutes. If you receive Jesus, you receive the full power that comes with him. You see, Jesus does not have power. Jesús no tiene poder. Quiero que usted entienda esto y no me critique. Se me está predicando un evangelio extraño. Jesús no tiene poder. Jesus does not have. You see, I have this tower. Yo tengo esta toalla en mi mano. Yo la tengo en mi mano. I have this tower in my hand. But Jesus does not have power. Listen to me. Jesus is power. Jesús no tiene poder. Jesús es poder. Naturalmente, si es poder, tiene poder. Pero hay que ir más allá. Of course, if he's got... If he is power, he has power, but we need to go further. Not just stop right there that he has power. He is power. The person of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the Lord himself is power. The book of Hebrews says that Jesus is the power of God. When God spoke things into existence, he spoke it and they came alive. In the person of Jesus, because he carried it out. He did everything his father asked him to do. And so, when you speak, it's a word. Cuando tú hablas una palabra, a word is the expression of an invisible thought. La palabra es una expresión de un pensamiento invisible, invisible. Y cuando Dios habló, todo vino a asistir. Y cuando Cristo vino... Él cumplió con todo lo que Dios tenía en la mente. When Jesus came, he fulfilled and he, he completed all the prophecy that God had in his mind. He's the word that became life. Él es la palabra que se hizo carne. And so Jesus is 
power. And when God speaks, he speaks with power. And Jesus is that power. And he carried out everything that God had in his mind. Healed the sick, cleansed the lepers, raised the dead, preached the word to the poor, walk on waters, do miracles. All that was done because God had it in his mind and Jesus carried it out. Come on, can you say praise the Lord somebody? So here it says, but as many, I thought those, but as many as received, but as many means as many, all, white or black, doesn't matter the color of your skin, brown or yellow, you could be tall, small, mean or lean, doesn't matter what country you're from, doesn't matter what you've done in your life, but as many, but as many, no importa el color de tu piel, lo que tú has hecho en la vida, de qué país tú eres, él está hablando a todas las naciones, a todas las personas, si tú respiras y estás vivo, tú eres uno de que los que le recibieron, pero a todo, a todo, a todo, la palabra todo significa todo, a todo lo que le recibieron, él entregó poder de su parte, de su vida, para que usted crea y sea hijo de Dios. I want to say something, and some of you may not believe it. Not everyone is a child of God. No todos son hijos de Dios. Yo he oído personas que dicen eso, oh, pero eh, son ser un hijo de Dios, eh, es un hijo. Eh, lo único que son hijos de Dios son los que naturalmente le recibieron y han nacido de nuevo en el Espíritu. Those that are children of God are those that received them and has been born again by the Spirit of God. We all creation of God. Somos criatura de Dios, pero no todos somos hijos de Dios. Hay que tener una experiencia de nacer de nuevo, de nacer del Espíritu de Dios. Dios, Dios luz, si puedo usar esa palabra, a una nación que son creyentes, que le creen y le siguen y le sirven. God gave birth, if I can use that terminology, to a nation of believers through Christ. <laughs> those that believe him, those that follow him, those that stay with him, those are children of God. And he gave birth through Christ. When Jesus died, the Bible says, unless a seed falls into the ground, a menos que una semilla caiga en la tierra y muera, entonces da fruto. If a seed falls into the ground and dies, it produces fruit. And so we are the fruit of that seed that fell into the ground. We are the fruit of Jesus. We are children of Jesus. Sons and daughters of Jesus. We belong to the man. We belong to the Lord, and as many as received them, received them, and believed in Him, to them He put something in your hand. He gave power, power, the privilege or the right to be His child. Praise the name of Jesus. As many as received them. Chanel, good morning. You look wonderful as always. Esa es la señora que trabaja en el edificio de la trabajadora social. Y yo la saludé. As many as received, todo lo que le recibieron. Le dio potencia, le dio poder. Mire, le voy a decir algo. Usted tiene más poder que el diablo. ¿Sabes lo que te voy a decir eso? Sí, porque el Espíritu Santo está en usted. Y mayor es el que están ustedes, aquel que está en el mundo. You have more power than the devil. Sammy, how can you say that? Yes, Jesus lives in you. And greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. God put power in us, spiritual power. He put power in you to cast out devils. He put power on you to preach the gospel. He put power on you to thread upon serpents and scorpions. He put power on you to pray for the sick. He put power on you to have a relationship with God and come into the presence of God. Let me tell you something, my friend. It takes power to pray. You need power to pray. If you're going to pray, you need to spend time with God so 
God can fill you up with his power. And when you start to pray and you start to call on God's power and presence, uh, the demons tremble and they flee because the power of God that's in you. The Bible says in the book of Acts that the power of God was present when the, Peter was speaking to the house of Cornelius. <laughs> Cuando Pedro estaba hablando a la casa de Cornelius, <laughs> dice que el poder de Dios, oye, 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 coge esto, ven, 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 recibe, dice que el poder de Dios, el poder de Dios, el poder de Dios estaba presente en la casa. The power of God was present and that's why they received the Holy Spirit. Recibieron el Espíritu Santo. I wonder, yo pienso, yo quiero saber, o me gustaría saber si el poder de Dios está en tu casa, en tu vida o en tu iglesia. Aguando, el poder de Dios está en ti, en tu casa, o en tu iglesia. Yo no iría a una iglesia donde no se predica a Cristo. I would never go to a church where Jesus is not preached. Yo estoy visitando una iglesia, la quiero nombrar, la Peña de Ore, the Rock of Herod. I believe it's pronounced the rock of ages, the rock of salvation, the rock of stability. Lo Pastore Peña. That's a small group, but the power of God is there. The love of God is there. The presence of God is there. That's why I stay there. But I've been to some churches, but they don't speak about Jesus. The whole hour, they speak about politics. They speak about current events. <laughs> they may speak about some uh, philosophy, but they don't mention Jesus. Yo estaba en iglesia donde se habla de política, de los asuntos de la vida o filosofía, pero no hablan de Jesús. La iglesia que no menciona Jesús, la iglesia que no enseña a Jesús, la iglesia que no le dé gloria a Jesús, está vacía porque el único que puede llenar esa iglesia, esa persona, ese lugar Ping, ping, boom. It's a zoo. When you call upon Jesus, when you call upon the mighty name of Jesus, when I got saved practically 47 years ago, the name that came into my heart was the name and the person of Jesus. And I've been preaching Jesus for practically 40 plus years. Estoy predicando a Jesús más de 40 y pico de años porque Jesús Jesús el que te puede sanar, Jesús el que te puede levantar, Jesús el que te puede libertar, Jesús el que te puede transformar, predica a Jesús, estamos en unos tiempos, estamos en una vida, en un mundo bien cruel, hay caos, caos por todo el lugar, we're, we're living in a world that's very corrupt, we're living in a world that there's problem and there's chaos, and my friend, the only thing that's going to carry you through is the Lord Jesus. He is the rock of salvation. He is the bread of life. He is the living waters. He is the shepherd to the sheepfold. He holds the key to the lost and found. He is the good Samaritan, the good shepherd. He is the almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to live for him, not just call on him once in a while when you go to church, but live for him all day and have him inside your heart and know that you're a child of the most high God. Hallelujah and praise God. But as many as received him, those that believe in his name, there's a lot of people that don't believe. The Muslims don't believe in God. They don't believe in Jesus, that Jesus was a prophet like Moses or any other prophet. They have their own, excuse me, their own God they call Allah, Muhammad, one of their latest prophets. The Muslims do not believe. The Jews do not believe in Jesus. Most of them, some of them have converted, but they see Jesus as just another teacher. They say we're still waiting for the Messiah. The Hindus have a lot of gods. They say Jesus is one of the gods among the many gods. 
the Jehovah Witness don't believe in Jesus as the Son of God. They say he is a creation of God. He is a word of God, not the word of God. The Mormons believe that Jesus and the devil were brothers and they had a fight and they separated. This is what they teach. But we that have been born again, we that have received them, we didn't come to him. He came to us. As many as received them, he came to us. Those that received them, we know who Jesus is. Jesus is the son of the living God. Jesus is God made, incarnated in the flesh. When Jesus asked the disciples in the city of Caesarea Philippi, Caesarea Philippi was a city like New York City. They had a big rock over there. And from that rock everybody preached their belief their religion their philosophy their intellect whatever they had in mind that's what they preached and Jesus asked Peter when they were walking around who do men say that I am some say you're Jeremiah you're Elijah the prophet you're John the Baptist that's beautiful good company good prophet but what about you Peter who do you say that I am and Peter said I know who you are you are the Christ the son of the living God. He recognized Jesus. Not everybody knows who Jesus is. There's some people, I heard a lady yesterday say, el Dios mío, mi papa Dios, papa Dios. Él no es tu papa Dios. Él es el creador. Él es tu Dios. Él es el Señor. Él es el que habita en nosotros, el que crió el mundo. Él es todo poderoso. He is more than just a, a philosophy. He he is more than just a thought. He is Jesus. Peter said, you are the Christ. Tú eres el Cristo, el que crió todo, el ungido, el que tiene todo poder, el que ha hecho milagro y sigue haciendo milagro. Y Jesús le dijo, sobre esta piedra, sobre la confesor tuya, la confesión, so upon your confession that I am the Christ, and upon this rock, upon this rock, esa piedra, and the Filosofía de mentira, ande había engaño religiosa, religiosa, falsa. Y digo, entre esta piedra yo voy a edificar mi casa. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Estamos en un mundo donde hay religiones falsas, donde hay santería, donde hay eh, de, people con demonios y people que predican filosofía y no predican a Cristo. Él dijo, ahí mismo, en el medio de todo eso, yo voy a construir, yo voy a edificar mi iglesia iglesia, mi pueblo, la iglesia son los que son llamados de la oscuridad a la luz no es un edificio con cuatro paredes, eso puede ser una iglesia local, pero los creyentes, porque la iglesia es el cuerpo de Cristo the church is not an organization, the church is an organ, it is the body of Christ, we are his people, and he said upon the body of Christ I'm going to build my church my people have been called out of darkness into the marvelous light and we are to preach and then he goes further he says, gates of hell la puerta del infierno la puerta del infierno no van a perseverar o a perseverar como ayúdame con esto come on tú que hablas castellano the gates of hell shall not prevail should not come against the church and overcome it he says we are attacking the church nosotros estamos atacando la, 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 the church we are attacking in the gates of hell is what I meant. We are attacking the gates of hell. Estamos atacando la puerta del infierno. Ellos no lo están atacando nosotros. Nosotros ahí escondiendo. Me están atacando. No. Jesús dijo, ellos no van a perseverar. A perseverar. Nosotros atacamos la puerta del infierno. ¿Con qué? Con el evangelio de Jesús. Con la palabra de Dios. Con la unción de Dios. Con el poder de Dios. Con los milagros de Dios. Con Dios. Dios en canal en nosotros atacamos y predicamos reprendemos y echamos fuera todo lo que no es de Dios me dio ganas de predicar hoy no sé lo que me pasó un buche de agua lo que les recibieron él les dio Dios siempre da. Those that received him, he gave. God always gives. God so loved the world that he gave. 
his only begotten son. God always gives. John 10.10, 10, that was John 1.16, God so loved the world. John 10.10, 10, I've come to give life. Yo vine a dar vida y vida en abundancia. Hecho, capítulo 1, verso 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He said, but they received the Holy Spirit. He gave them power. He gave them power to go out and preach. Dios siempre está dando. Él es rico. Él tiene todo en sus manos. Él es eh, gener, genera, generous. Generador. Oye, tengo que aprender más español. Yo lo entiendo. Generoso. Esa es la palabra. Generoso. He's generous. Él tiene poder. He has love. He has tender mercy. He has grace. He has forgiven. And he has given us everything. The kingdom of God. But as many as received them. To them that believe. He gave. He gave. He gave power. Power. Spiritual power. That's why the apostle Paul said. In the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6. Verse 10. En el libro de Efesios. El apóstol Pablo dijo. Capítulo 6. Verso 10. Ta, 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 ta. He spoke about. You have received. Power. You have received the Holy Spirit. You have received the power of God. Tú has recibido el poder de Dios. El poder, la presencia de Dios. El Espíritu Santo está en ti. Y tú estás lleno del poder de Dios. Si lo busca y lo obedece. Y él en el libro de Fecho, capítulo 6, verso de fortalecido. En el Señor y en el poder de su fuerza. Be strong in the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in the power, in the power, in the power of his might. And he says, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. Póngase en la armadura de Dios. Helmet of salvation, your feet shall with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, have your long girders about with truth, <laughs> and above all, and above all, the sword, the spirit, la espada del espíritu, la espada del espíritu, que corta, que echa fuera todo lo que no es del ponte, en tu mano la espada del espíritu, y carga en tu corazón, y fuá, dale un fuetazo al diablo cuando venga y se presente con su maldad, con su malicia con su trampa a la espada ¡Fua! espétasela no tenga miedo, no le coja pena espétasela y dile se te acabó el abuso, diablo feo espétale ¡Fua! 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 todo el mundo debe decir ¡Fua! te atrevo que tú lo digas ahí en tu casa ¡Fua! tengo la espada, diablo donde tú estás ¡Fua! y espétale la espada He gave you the whole armor. He said, you got the sword of the spirit. Above all, you need to use that sword. The sword is the word of God. Hebrew says that the word of God is powerful, quicker than any two-edged sword. Sharper, rather. The word of God is quick and powerful. La palabra de Dios es poderosa y más fija, fila que una espada de doble filo. Más fina, creo que se dice. When you have the word of God and the devil tries to get in your family, you, you need to fwa, stick that saw into him. That's what Jesus used in the wilderness. <laughs> Eso fue lo que Jesús predicó en el desierto. Cuando vino el diablo, le dijo, si tú eres el hijo de Dios, convierte estas piedras y no solamente de pan vivirá el hombre. Fua, le dio un puñalazo, una Petó la, la espada, espeta de la espada. Siempre piensa la palabra de Dios, piensa positivo. No acepte la mentira del diablo, la trampa, las trampas, las asistencias del diablo. Cuando él venga, mire la palabra, fuá, eh, practica eso en tu fuá, fuá, fuá. Sticking with the soul of the spirit, think positive in your mind. Don't think, don't let him put thoughts in your mind that are not biblical. Think positive. And when he comes, put that thought out and then fwa, hit him with the saw. Hit him hard with the word. Hit him hard. When I meet the saw, I meet the word of God. Fwa, hit him with the word. Fwa, wherever he comes. Uh, preach the word. Pra 
practice the word, speak the word of God so that you can be ready to anytime, bing, bang, boom, fwah, sticking with the word of God. But as many as received them to them that believe in his name, he gave power, he gave dynamite, he gave the right to become the sons of God. My friend, walk around as a child of God. Walk around with your head up high. Don't have no complex. Don't have no hang up. We ain't got no shortcomings because we got Jesus inside of us. Camina con como si tú fueras un hijo de Dios. Déjalo complejo. Deja el miedo. Deja toda esa babería por un lado y practica caminando en el poder. Man, este instrumento es difícil de, de tocarlo. Yo estoy aprendiéndolo. This instrument is very difficult to play. I'm doing a little better, but I'm practicing. But you know what I mean. Get filled with the Spirit of God because you're a child of God. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray everybody listen to me right now. The power of the Holy Spirit will touch, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus. Padre, todo lo que tengo yo de este mensaje, tú lo toques, lo libertes, lo sanes, en el nombre de Jesús. God bless you, okay? I pray you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And this day smiles upon your face. Love you. In Christ. Amen.